everyone, this is Rachelle. Thanks for clicking on my video. And I came in today to talk about a story that I saw that I just read on Fabulous. Now, y'all, this story comes from Whitney Houston's nephew. And when I tell y'all he is blasting the shit out of Pat and Gary Houston. Now, we know that Gary Houston is Whitney Houston's brother. He used to sing back up for her all the time. But this nephew of Whitney's, let me explain how he's related to Whitney first. Gary Houston, the one that I just spoke of that sang background for Whitney all the time, is this young man's father, okay? So that he is Whitney Houston's nephew, okay? Now, in this article, he talks about Pat Houston. And y'all, when I say he goes in, he goes in. What's odd about this is months ago, I did a video about Pat Houston selling off Whitney Houston's memorabilia and how I felt about it. I just felt that, you know, something about her wasn't right. And why would you sell memorabilia? You know, you... You would want to keep that stuff, maybe give it to a museum because Whitney Houston was not just an ordinary singer. She was legendary. And to me, her memorabilia should be put in a place where people can view it. And I just thought it was weird that Pat was selling it. And I wondered if Whitney Houston's mother was on board with it. But just getting back to the story, so in this uh, picture, you see this is Gary Houston's first wife, Monique, and the two children that he had with her. And I guess this young man that is spilling all the tea on Fabulous um, is the little boy that's pictured here. So basically what he's saying is that on Christmas of 2017, that just passed, his stepsister, you know, put something on Instagram. And in this post that she made on Instagram, Pat Houston can be heard slamming and talking negatively about Whitney and Bobby Christina. And basically, this young man goes from there. He, he tells you how Pat Houston was a mistress. You know, uh, Gary Houston was married to this young man's mother, and he alleges that Pat Houston was a mistress that basically, I guess, took his father from his mother. Now, let's let's pause here. We have to think about that this is Gary Houston's son. You know, he's heard stories over the year of how the breakup of his mother and father went. And this is from his perspective. He even says in the article, which I'm going to link in the description box, that all of this is from his perception. But getting back to this, this Instagram post that Pat Houston's daughter, Rhea, I believe is her name, posted. In the background, I listened to the video, and he has links to all of this in the story that I'm going to you know, put in the description box. And in the video, you hear her you know, talking shit about Whitney. You know, basically saying that people were saying that she was trying to, you know, act like Whitney or be Whitney. And, you know, she was trying to be Whitney and Bobby. I mean, I'm sorry, Whitney and Bobby Christina. And in the video, you can clearly hear her saying, you know, pretty much that they're gone and who would want that and all of this kind of stuff. She even talks about, um, well, he even talks about in the video how Pat Houston bragged that her daughter, you know, graduated from high school and Bobby Christina only went to the seventh grade. He talks about how he believes that Pat Houston was an opportunist. And y'all, in my video that I did about her, I felt the same way. Something about her rubs me the wrong way. I don't know what it is. And when I posted that video, oh my God, so many of my subscribers and others commented on things that they had heard that Pat Houston had done to Whitney or done that were shady, that was shady or against Whitney. And I was surprised because 
I love Whitney and I just knew that Pat, you know, was always around, but I never really understood her role. And a lot of you put things in that video, comments in that video, you know, explaining things that you had heard over the years. So a lot of this is what this boy is talking about, how he believes that secretly Pat was jealous of, you know, Whitney's success, her beauty, all of it. Um, he talks about how Pat and Gary talked negatively, negatively about Bobby Christina, saying that she was not a good role model for their daughter, Rhea, who is this boy's stepsister, his half-sister. He talks about how over the years when, you know, he was trying to get in touch with his father, he always had to go through Pat. And pretty much he felt like she blocked any conversation or relationship that he had with his father. You know, basically, you know, he was always told when he wanted to get in touch with his father, you know, contact Pat, you know. And y'all, this thing with Pat, I don't know how she weaseled her way into Whitney's inner circle and Whitney trusted her so much. But if you read this article, and I'm going to stop here about the article, I, I want you guys to read it. Now I'm just going to give, you know, my opinion on Pat and this whole situation. Whitney, from what this boy says, was a very trusting and loyal person. You know, she loved her family. And basically, I think Whitney did a lot of taking care of her family. He even spoke about how this house that Gary and Gary Houston and his wife, um, Pat Houston, live in, he believes that either Whitney bought for them or, you know, through association with Whitney and handling her money and all of that, that they benefit and were able to buy this house. Y'all, the stuff that this boy says in this article, it, Whitney trusted her. And I don't think that she was good for Whitney. Because from what this boy said, a lot of stuff that was going on with Whitney, um, he believes that, you know, either Gary and Pat co-signed or they actually helped some of this stuff go on is what I'm getting from the article, you know, the drugs, all the craziness surrounding Whitney. He talks about how when Whitney was based in New Jersey, she had this team around her that kept everything going smoothly, even though, you know, she was in the throes of, you know, her drug addiction and all that stuff. He basically says something like, they took care of her though. <clears throat> watched out for her, made sure she was safe as best as they could with what she was dealing with. But he says that he felt like when Whitney came to Atlanta, when she went down to Atlanta, bought a home there near Gary and Pat, the things spiraled out of control. Whitney didn't have that team around her that she had paid to take care of her and to protect her. Now, mind you, y'all, she moved closer to her family, I guess, just for that reason. And then all hell breaks loose. And, you know, you can't really blame Pat and Gary for her, for her drug addiction. Because, you know, we watched the Oprah interview where her other brother, Michael, says that he's the one who got her started on these drugs. So the drugs were already in the picture. You don't blame you know, them for that. But I guess from what this boy is saying, this young man is saying that when Whitney got around them, you know, because there was not that team that she had when she was back in Jersey, just watching out for her, you know, he felt that things went crazy because Pat was not there with a pure heart. This is what he felt. He felt like Pat just wanted to be in that inner circle, in that glow of Whitney's fame. And she took what she could from that, I guess, that side role that she was in. And y'all, I believe it. I believe that she was an opportunist and that secretly she was jealous of Whitney. 
you know, think about Whitney's fame and think about how beautiful, because when I look at pictures when Whitney was younger, like in her early 20s, all the way through to her early 30s, that girl was absolutely beautiful. And that's why a modeling agency walked up to Whitney out, you know, out in the streets and asked her to model for them. You know, they, she caught their eye. She didn't pursue a modeling career. The modeling agency, you know, saw her walking down the street and walked up to her and said, look, you are so beautiful. We would like you to model for us. And that's how she became a model. But we all know that Whitney's passion was the music. So she modeled for a while and then she followed her passion, you know, singing, which thank God she did because we were all enriched by that voice, by just her standing on the stage, flat foot, singing her fucking heart out. Now, this Pat and Gary Houston. This boy talks about how one month after Whitney died, that Pat Houston was shopping that Houston show. Y'all, one month? That girl was 19 years old and just had lost her mother. And you are convincing her to do a reality show, you know, for you. Because, you know, they wouldn't be doing the, the reality show for Bobby Christina. Bobby Christina was all already famous just by the fact of who her parents were. But a month after this child's mother died, you're trying to get a reality show. You get it. And then we as the viewers watch this girl self-destructing, you know, because it was obvious during that show that Bobby Christina was taking something or drinking something or, you know, ingesting something that had her in an altered state. And I believe a lot of that was from pain and no one around her looking out for her best interest because to me it seemed like Pat Houston was capitalizing off of Bobby Christina enriching herself and Whitney's brother you know that that shit is crazy y'all and I am shocked that Whitney's brother allowed this to go on that this woman Pat Houston had some type of control over him because let's think about it y'all just say it was you and your sister died and it was within a month of your sister's death and your spouse is saying yeah let's get this reality show and get bobby christina blah 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 you would be saying to that spouse wait a minute you know we are still mourning the death of our loved one what the hell are you talking about a damn reality show you wouldn't even want to hear of about something like that especially with your sister's child involved knowing how close that bobby christina was to whitney how close that relationship that mother daughter relationship was and you knew that your niece was suffering and then you go along with your spouse with this damn reality show so i don't not only fought pat houston I fought Gary Houston because I could not do that to my niece or nephew. I could not put aside what she at that moment was going through to be on a fucking reality show. That shit was crazy. Now, this this son of Gary Houston, he just also talks about how Bobby Christina didn't have anything against her grandmother, that it was something that Pat and Gary were doing. I think that Gary, because let's face it, y'all, I believe that Gary is not actually a Houston, if I'm correct. Wasn't he um, um, not a Houston? This is a child that Sissy Houston had before she married John. This is, I think Gary's last name is Garland. So I think that, you know, he falls under that Houston umbrella, but he's not, you know, born. He's not John's child is what I'm trying to say. John Houston's child, who is Whitney Houston's father. So maybe what it is, is that 
Gary has some jealousy, you know, of the Houstons, John's children, which are, I believe, Whitney and Michael. Because remember, Whitney has two brothers. She has Gary and then her brother, Michael, the one that got her on drugs. So maybe what it is, is that Gary was jealous of them. And then when he married this wife, who was a manipulative bitch, those two together were not good for Whitney. Because if everything that they were doing and, you know, was born from jealousy or envy, nothing good was going to come out of that. And that's why when this young man talks about how they reveled in Bobby Christina only going to the seventh grade, how they talk negatively about just Bobby Christina in general and Whitney as well. They were free to do that. You know, it was almost like they, they took a, a weird pleasure in seeing the demise of not only Whitney, but her child. You know, y'all, with people around you like that, oh my goodness. I feel even more sorry for Whitney Houston and Bobby Christina. Now, this young man refers to his Aunt Whitney as Tia. I think that is so cute. All through this article, he refers to Whitney as Tia. I believe his name is Jonathan. I might be wrong about that, but I believe this young man's name is Jonathan. And what he just says in this video simply is that Pat Houston was an opportunist that Whitney trusted. Um, he even talks about how the Whitney Houston Foundation, when Whitney was alive, was something that gave to, I guess, the people of Jersey that were, uh, you know, poor and stuff. And she would have an annual banquet where she would give away gifts and she would be there working hard to make sure that everything went smoothly and how much fun it was for him to be included, handing out gifts and all of that. But he says that after Whitney died, um, and Pat was at the, the, you know, the top of this Whitney Houston foundation, how it changed. And they don't do the good things that Whitney used to do with this foundation when she was alive. Y'all, he is spilling so much tea about the Houston family. He talks about how he even believes that they manipulate Whitney's mother, Sissy. And by her being in, you know, elderly and trusting and, you know, even though she has, I guess, feelings about things that happened with Whitney and people that were in her inner, inner circle, that they, they in some way manipulate her and how sad that is that not only did they fail Whitney because they were jealous and things that they were doing was from a point of view of jealousy and y'all at first when I started reading this story I was like okay this is a bitter child of Gary Houston and maybe a lot of this is coming from a place of bitterness because in this article he also says that you know, once his father married Pat Houston, that he pretty much didn't have anything to do with, you know, his life. He didn't, you know, spend time with him and, you know, nurture him and all that. He says that his father would always proclaim, I love both you and your sister, but his actions didn't show it because he never really had a relationship with them. And then when they were old enough to, I guess, pick up the phone and call him themselves, that Gary Houston allowed his wife to block, you know, any contact that he had with his first, you know, the children from his first marriage. This Pat Houston, y'all, she sounds like a complete bitch, you know, a complete bitch. This young man even talks about when Pat Houston got engaged to Gary Houston and how she bragged about the size of her ring and how she would put her, you know, finger up to her chin and, you know, 
ward off any people that were trying to flirt with her, you know, letting them know that she was promised to another man with this beautiful ring that she had on her finger, this expensive ring. She even bragged about the celebrities that were going to attend their wedding, you know, her wedding to Pat, uh, to Gary Houston. Y'all, she's something else. Um, he goes on to talk about even when Whitney died, how they were not put up in the same hotel as the family was, that they were told that pretty much, you know, they couldn't ride in the car with the, with with Gary, you know, with their father, and how they stayed with Sissy Houston because she welcomed, you know, them in, and how they decided that they would ride with the person that showed that she cared, you know, which was Whitney's mother, Sissy. And I guess they rode with her to Whitney's funeral. You know, these children are Whitney Houston's niece and nephew. They're by her brother. These are not, you know, kids that just showed up and saying, I'm Whitney Houston's niece and nephew, you know, these children are by, are from Gary's first marriage, and Whitney loved them. And I believe that if Whitney had a say so in them being there, because of what this how sweet they say that Whitney was to them, I believe Whitney would would, would have wanted them to be there. Bottom line, and for Pat to block that, that shows her character. Basically, she wanted this image from what this boy says of her family, you know, her and, and Gary and her daughter, Rhea, and, 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 you know, just her family walking the red carpet, being photographed, that she did not want the children from his first marriage involved. And, and, and you know what? I always say that a person can only do what you allow them to do. So I'm very angry at Whitney's brother because those were his children. And all he had to say is, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now I know you're my wife now. I know we have children, but those are my kids and they're going to be involved in, in this funeral. They are going to ride in the car. She would have fell back if he would have put his foot down. But that shows you what type of man he is allowing this woman to block contact with his kids. Y'all, she's something else. And then um, his son, you know, the young man that is writing this this post, he talks about how when um, Pat Houston appeared on that Oprah Winfrey interview that she did right after Whitney died and how she pretty much faked being this sweet, calming force in Whitney's life and you know she was always there for Whitney and Bobby Christina and basically he's saying all of that is an act that she's pretending you know that that's not who she really is and honestly y'all I believe him I believe him and that last video that I did about her selling Whitney's stuff you gotta be a heartless bitch to be doing that because Whitney was an icon, you know, um, put aside her drug abuse and those years that she was down and just think about the body of work that Whitney has left us and think about her when she was in her twenties and thirties and her career was just at the top of the world and how this woman, Pat Houston, sold her memorabilia. One of the things she sold, y'all, that Whitney had held on to was Whitney's script from Waiting to Exhale. Now, that must have been something that was important to Whitney because Whitney held on to it. Do you know that bitch, uh, Pat Houston, sold it? She even sold Whitney's passport, uh, dresses that we have seen Whitney Houston in over the years, I guess, in performances and maybe in movies and things. That that was something else. It's almost like, y'all, she's overstepping her bounds. She was married 
into the Houston family. She is not Houston by blood. Did I, I often wonder when she was selling Whitney Houston shit, how Whitney Houston's mother felt about that. Whitney Houston made a big mistake when she trusted this woman. You know, Whitney Houston, I believe, was bamboozled by Pat. You know, Whitney Houston was was in a state where she had this worldwide fame. And I think Whitney Houston was tired of it and she wanted to be around her family. And that's why she moved to uh, Atlanta to be near her brother and his family. And I believe that Whitney Houston had this vision of them being together, them raising their children together. And, and, and just being family. And she trusted all the wrong people. Now, we're not going to put aside the fact that Whitney Houston had her own problems with drugs. We all know that. We all know that she had problems with drugs. But you know something? I have family members that have had drug problems. And, you know, as a family, we tried to help them. You know, we tried to let them know that there was someone there for them whenever they decided because ultimately it's up to them to give up the drug you can't make them do it but we wanted to them to know that when they fell to the depths of despair we were going to be there to catch them they always knew that they were loved and that whenever they were ready our family was there to to catch them i don't believe that Pat Houston, and not only Pat, Whitney Houston's brother, had her best interest at heart. You know, this young man even talks about how after Whitney Houston died, how things that Bobby Christina was doing were kind of looked over or allowed to happen, and that he doesn't believe that they were the best caretakers for Bobby Christina after Whitney died. He even mentioned something about Bobby Christina saying that they were they were not her family. Um, he talked about a phone call that Bobby Christina made to him crying and just being in a bad place and talking about Pat Houston and Gary Houston and saying that they weren't her family. And that they were doing things that she did not agree with. Y'all, this whole thing is a big old mess. And it speaks to family, betrayal, you know, trust, and, and how things went wrong. Now, ultimately, Whitney was at the top of this. And had Whitney been okay in herself, you know, not on drugs, a lot of this shit wouldn't, wouldn't have happened. Whitney Houston was a drug addict that had a lot of money. And that money, you know, altered the people that were around her, you know. They, they didn't see her. They see, saw what she stood for. Fame, fortune, adoration. Whitney was adored by the world at one point. You know, because of that, that instrument that came out of her throat. And I believe Pat stood off stage and watched Whitney belt out songs, stood and watched how with Whitney walked down the street, people would, you know, flock to her and how much people loved her. And she was jealous, y'all. She was jealous. And when Whitney Houston died, after all those years of, standing on the sidelines and watching Whitney's fame and being envious and jealous of it. Pat Houston had a moment to shine. And that's what this boy is talking about. He's saying that after his aunt Tia, because again, he refers to Whitney Houston as Tia. After she died and Pat was in control of everything at that point, not only Whitney Houston's money, but Whitney Houston's child that she took advantage of Whitney's legacy. And all of this 
this this that she has now is because of Whitney and how she weaseled her way into Whitney's heart and gained Whitney's trust because Whitney was in a vulnerable place due to those years of being on drugs and you know her image being tainted because of those drugs and how now that Bobby Christina is gone and she has total control now I believe that once Bobby Christina died the money probably transferred to Whitney's mother because I believe that Whitney loved her mother and probably left some provisions for her mother to be taken care of you know poor poor sissy Houston because um this shit with um Pat and Gary it's something y'all it's something and I said in that video that I did months ago that Bobby Christina needed to be taken somewhere right after Whitney died to where people loved her and took care of her and nurtured her and understood that this girl needed time to grieve. What happened to her when she was found in that tub? It's a mystery, y'all. It's just ironic that she was almost found the same way that her mother was. Those people that were around her, they failed her. We saw that in that Houston reality show that was put on right after Whitney died. We saw how, you know, they would talk about how Bobby Christina was in a delicate state, but it didn't really seem like they were doing anything. You know, this boy even talks about how a day before Bobby Christina was found that Pat and Gary talked about Bobby Christina pulling up in their driveway and passing out in the driveway in the car. You know, and he said that <clears throat> that they talked about it so nonchalantly, you know, and instead of talking about it in a way where they were helping her, they were putting her down, saying stuff like um, her and Nick weren't going to make it. It was a mess and pretty much, you know, talking about her in a negative way instead of talking about how they were going to help her, how, you know, they were going to help get her away from Nick, you know? Oh, y'all, it's sad that Whitney trusted trusted them. It, because even remember when Whitney did that interview with Oprah, and she talked about when she was in the throes of addiction and that she had checked herself into a rehab. And she had talked about how when things were bad, between her and Bobby and things were bad with the drugs, she would send Bobby Christina to her brother Gary and her sister-in-law Pat. I remember Whitney saying that. That shows that she thought that they were a safe place for her daughter, for her child. Her most cherished thing in this world was her child. And she sent Bobby Christina to people she thought were there for her and ultimately i think they were worthy of whitney's trust you know this is a sad situation y'all and i want y'all to read the entire post that is on famous from whitney houston's nephew it is going to blow you away with the accusations that he's made against pat and gary houston i think that they're going to have to respond to this, you know, in some kind of way. Either they're going to choose to ignore it because if they speak on it, it gives it weight or they're going to come out blasting him in some way. I don't know. Read the article, y'all, and let me know what you think. Um, I appreciate you watching this video. Thanks as always. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a pleasant day. Bye-bye now.